Hey, what's up, everybody? As some of you might remember, last year I did a review on the Zealot S67. Now, that was a pretty decent speaker, but it had some issues with distortion. Didn't handle the bass very well. So, Zealot's come out with the S57. This is supposed to be a little more powerful. So, we're going to see if they've uh, solved the problem they had with the bass. We'll do a full review and a sound check. Let's go. So if any of you remember late, I think it was into September last year, I did a review on the Zealot S67. Now that was a speaker kind of designed like the, oh, like the JBL Extreme, kind of a bigger speaker. Kind of kind of looked a lot like the W King X10 style-wise. Now that speaker, it was okay, but it had a problem with distortion in the bass. So this is a Zealot S57. It went down a number for some reason. I don't know why. It's supposed to be 80 watt, whereas the pose that one was 75. Go over some of the particulars. You have to excuse me. I've had a bit of a cold. I'm a little congested. Uh, this speaker has Bluetooth 5.2, so it has a newer Bluetooth, although I've tested it, and it doesn't have the greatest range in the world. 80 watt, like I mentioned. 14,400 milliamp battery, which is a pretty decent-sized battery. IPX6, so you can get it wet, but don't submerge it. It has supposedly 40 hours of playback. Now, that's obviously going to depend on how loud you're playing it. It does also have a microphone jack. So we're going to see what that sounds like. And it has lights that go around the outside. The lights don't have any mode. They're either on or off, and they kind of just cycle through a color. You can't really control any of that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Before we get started with all that, I'll go over the cabinet itself. This is a plastic. You see it's got Zealot on the top does have some grooves underneath but they're kind of squared off the plastic on this and the grill and all that it's a pretty cheap feels pretty cheap not the best build quality as far as i'm concerned with these kind of speakers it does have a just kind of a hollow sound to it now the lights as i said it goes all the way around the outside the buttons as you can see here you got your power button that button is for your different light modes, which is basically just on and off. Mode button, because this does have some other uh, inputs you can use. That's your pairing for TWS. So it is TWS compatible. Play pause, plus and minus. Now, I'll flip it around the back and unplug this microphone. Well, before we get started, I'll turn it on to show you this is not good. I don't like this. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. She's shouting it from the mountaintop. Oh, look out. You already got something playing. <laughs> anyway, well, we can, I won't play that in the background. That's, I think it's Tanya, Tuck, Tanya Tucker or something. Anyway, you can see the light. I, it's not the brightest when you got the light when, you know, the room is lit. But it just kind of, it goes through different colors. And you don't have any control over that. On the end here is where your connections are. Now it does have a separate, it has two USB-A's, one for playback and one for charging. And I believe that's a 5 amp. So that's kind of nice where you can have, you could be doing both at once if you wanted to. Your 3.5 millimeter cable for wired connection. USB-C is what this charges by. A micro USB slot to play music off of micro USB. And a quarter inch microphone jack. Now I'll go ahead and hook that up. Oh, and by the way, it does have a passive radio in the back. Kind of like the W King uh, D9. That's what this kind of reminds me of a little bit, the cabinet and everything. It's kind of set up to look kind of like the D9. Now as far as the microphone goes, I don't believe there's any way you connect can change the volume level. So I've scooted back, 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 back. and you can hear getting feedback and echo that is and i'm moved back quite a ways so that's really bad so i don't <laughs> you'd have to be a long way from this to avoid the echo and that feedback and echo is horrible so i don't know what you could do with that it almost makes it unusable in my opinion but i guess if you wanted some echoey 
microphone. microphone. There you go. Turn that off. My, that's bad. Not good. Now, the manual is very bare bones. It doesn't say a whole lot about nothing. So I don't think there's any way you can actually control that. Your output of your microphone. You can turn the volume down. Let's try that. So, 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 so. Well, well, did that help? Yeah. It's still, it's still got, the got the echo, echo. and the feedback. Holy oh. moly. All right, all right, all right. It's enough of that. that. So, uh, basically, I don't know. I wouldn't be buying this for the microphone. Let's just put it that way. So, let's do a sound check and see what this baby can do. Hopefully, it doesn't distort. I already know. I've already tried this, but I'm playing dumb for you guys. So hang on a second. One other thing to note is that when you're playing music, there's a like a low hiss kind of static noise in the background. It'll go away after a little bit when you pause it or something. If you'll listen here, you can probably hear it even from this far away. By the way, I've got the lights turned off so you can see the light as it plays. It doesn't change or nothing, but here I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll play. Now, if you listen, and then it went off. So anyway, we'll start this at 20% work our way up. This is 20%. You can see the light just kind of fade to different colors. Let's go up to 40%. Sixty percent. Change track, still sixty percent. Eighty percent. Change track. Hundred percent. So there you go, guys. The speaker itself is kind of light on bass and really bright, almost too bright. It has a little bit of a grating sound to it, if you will. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. That's a wrap.